The screen can hardly keep up. Yep. Before the health bar even showed up, guys, he is dead. Hi guys, Ash47 here, and welcome back to Octagon Modded. Today we're checking out the Whirling Blade of Death mod. Now this is one of those crazy mods. We have a whole bunch of different DNAs attached to this thing. Now you can see, we have the Snapping Turtles. These are going to provide defense, so nothing can probably get into this. We have the Saw Blade Sharks. You can see as we rotate, the Saw Blades turn on and they go really crazy. We have the Queen Bees to do the ranged attacks. If anything gets anywhere near us, they're going to be taken down pretty much instantly. And then, of course, you can't really see it, but in the middle there, there is a whole bunch of dolphin fins. This allows us to spin incredibly fast. We have the best of all worlds. Now, we haven't gone overboard. We've only got 15 of each of these for a total of 60 tentacles. We're going to see, is this the ultimate way to kill bosses? And here it comes, the first boss. A large enemy is approaching, guys. Let's see how we do against the big boss bass. Okay. I'm not sure exactly the best way to do this, but oh, there we go. Didn't have to think about it at all. The killer bees completely destroyed this guy. So, big boss bass, you're down. You stood no chance. Now, we're going to be going on to land after this. We're going to be versing the meat guy, the meat cleaving guy. Okay, come on. Straight away, let's go. Straight away, here we go. Straight into the map. This is exactly what we want. And here we go. The butcher. Aha! This is what we want. See how fast I move. The camera can hardly keep up with going so fast. The dolphin fins work incredibly well on this one. And as soon as we get to a building, instantly gone. The sword blades make sure of that. And the butcher, the butcher, 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 where are you? The screen can hardly keep up. Yep. Before the health bar even showed up, guys, he is dead. He stood no hope. That's what we want to see. You pretty much get over there, and that's it. That's amazing. This is the kind of mod we want to see, guys. This is amazing. And got some first trials. Awesome. Done, 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 done. Now we're going to be back in the ocean for this level. Here we are. Megapede. Come along, come along, Megapede. All right, we can see Big Boss Bass. Ah, he just melts. Obviously, that wasn't the actual boss version. That was just like the standard enemy version, but yeah, he just melted. Ooh, now you can see on the left-hand side here, we have a bit of a problem. This guy's going to do some serious damage to me. It's not good. If he touches me, I'm going to get frozen. I need to actually try and dodge this guy. Got to be really careful here. Okay, here comes Megapede. He's not on the screen yet. I've yet to see him. And we've already done some damage to this guy. That's good. It's awesome. Okay. Now yeah, so we probably just want to stand still. Ooh, actually, no, we probably want to rotate. So if he comes in close, the sword blades, yep, the sword blades take him out. Come a little closer, Megapede. Yep, as soon as he comes into contact with me, that's it. Instant death. Yes. Saw blades for the win, guys. Saw blades are amazing. This might be one of the most powerful mods we've done so far. This is incredible. And here we go. We've got some more shells. That's good. So that takes us to a total of 10 shells, I think. All right, straight back in. Straight back in. Now we're going to be on the land. I really enjoy the land stages. Look how fast we move. I'm really excited to see what we do against Kongaroo. Uh-oh. Ooh, I think we just found our weakness, guys. These nuke trucks. Oh. It's pretty much impossible for me to dodge this because we go so fast. All I have to do is hope there's not many nuke trucks. It's very worrying. Warning. Here's Kongaroo. No health bar. He's just gone. He's gone, guys. That's incredible. Wow. And here's the upper house. And there goes the upper house. That was incredibly quick, guys. That is the kind of thing we like on this channel. Yes. Takes us up to 20 shells. We're on 20 shells, guys. That's awesome. 20 shells so far. So it looks like five shells per boss. And here we go. Big boss shooter bass. Just have to take out these enemies here. Ah, instantly gone. You stood no hope. Here comes the small version of Megapede. A couple of hits here and there. Come on. Looks like probably four or five more hits. Come a little closer. Come a little closer, buddy. We'll show you who's boss. And, yep, yeah, come on. Oh, he's very close. Okay. Now the boss should be coming. Come on, boss. Come on, come on, come on. Warning. A large enemy is approaching. Yeah, I'm quite curious to see how fast they take this guy out. Is he going to be able to get off any fire bolts? Hoping he can't get any off. Oh, no, he's got one off. That's not good. Is he going to reach me, though? Oh, oh, oh. Got to be really careful here. Oh, you know what I just realized? The fireballs can't touch us because of the turtles. I just realized that. Wow. 
So the fireballs don't even matter anymore. That is awesome. I'm kind of curious to see what the final boss does to see if his attack can actually penetrate our turtles. That's going to be really cool to find out. Yeah, snapping turtles, guys. They're amazing. We get the sword blades for massive amounts of damage. We get the bees for the ranged attacks. Ooh, here we go. He's an interesting boss. I'm curious to see what we do against this guy. Can we park under him? I guess we're going to go backwards and forwards. Here we go. So long. Stompatron X down. I think that's the fastest we've ever taken down Stompatron X. That's incredible. This is, yeah, this is a really good DNA. Only 60 tentacles as well. That's really, really good. I've seen, I've seen Octagons which have a lot more tentacles and they don't do nearly as much damage as this. So this is one of those really cool combinations. I guess the Dolphin DNA, along with the Swordblade DNA, they both stack together really well to make some really overpowered stuff. And I don't have to worry about the fire, that's amazing. Yep, see that? It just disappears. Fire has no hope against this Octageddon. The only thing that can really damage us at this stage is the nukes. So as long as we don't have any nukes that get anywhere near us, which is a bit of a worry in the land stages, but we've only been hit twice so far, so that's pretty decent, I would say. And this guy's gone. Mecha Octageddon, guys. Mecha Octageddon. All right, this is going to be an interesting one. Okay. So this isn't quite as fast as the laser beam mod. The laser beam mod, that was way, way faster than this. But that's okay. At least we don't have to worry about aiming. We just have to spin. That's all we have to do. And I don't think he's ever going to be able to hit us. If he comes in close to us, he's just going to melt because of all the bloody blades. And he's on, okay. He's getting his chainsaws out now. I don't think he's going to be able to get close enough to hurt me though. That's the thing. He's got a couple more hits and he's gone. Mega Octageddon, guys. Mega Octageddon is dead. So long, Mega Octageddon. And thanks for all the fish. All right, onto the next area. Done, 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 done. Straight onto the land. Now, I believe we're going to be versing the mime now. Yep, Giganto Mime. This is going to be really cool. Watch this bit. Ready? Ready, ready, ready? Ah, we just go straight past him. And he's somehow going to catch up to us, I assume. Whoa. Yep, here he is. Oh, he's half dead. And he's gone. Ha! That was incredible, guys. Wow. What happens now? Did I break the game? Whoa. I think I broke the game for a second there. I didn't know what to do. And that was so cool. And... Is that it? Do we win? Whoa. What the hell? We literally glitched the game, guys. We went so fast that the game didn't know what to do. Wow. I've never seen that before, guys. That is so cool. So we, still, the boss still thinks he's alive. We were so fast in killing it that it doesn't know it's dead. It's still attacking us. All right. We're going to have to go back to the main menu really quickly. Main menu. And continue. Here we are, back in the game. Done. We have to be a bit more careful here, guys, and not take out the boss that fast. That's incredible. All right. Let's be really careful here. What we'll do is wait for the health bar to load. And then, oh, actually, pull it, pull it doesn't matter as long as I stay on the screen while he's exploding. Okay. He's half dead. There we go. Okay, he's blowing up. Gonna wait for him to blow up. There we go. Now I think we're good. Yep, yeah, there we go. Now it's loaded correctly. Now, once this blows up, that should be it. Wow, I've never seen anything like that, guys. It's probably the first anyone's ever seen that. That's crazy. So there's an Octageddon glitch for you guys. If you make an Octageddon that's fast enough to take out enemies and rolls fast enough, you can glitch the entire game. That's really cool. Giant pill bug. Now, once again, guys, if you have ideas for Octageddons, leave a comment down below. We're looking for all the ideas we can get. If you guys have a really cool idea for a mod you want to see, let us know. We'll make it happen. We have the power and the abilities to do this. All right. Once again, Mega Feed is really annoying to attack. Come on. This is where I like the really focused ones, like the laser beam mod. That one worked really well against this guy. All right. And onto the boss. Giant Pillbug. Here he comes, guys. A gigantic enemy is approaching. That is pretty gigantic. I wish he'd come a little bit closer. Can't quite reach this guy. So it's pretty much up to the bees to take this guy out. On the plus side, I don't have to really worry, worry too much. 
I guess that the uh, jellyfish can probably sting me and like zap me. But even then, not a big deal. I don't think they're really going to do any damage against me. Which is the main thing. Oh man, he's going in there early. Normally he only goes there when it's like a third health left. Uh oh. Oh man. Oh wow, I actually got hit. Okay, I'm not invulnerable, guys. Not invulnerable. We are actually vulnerable here. So I need to actually dodge these things, which is incredibly hard because of all the... Damn it! Screwed that up. Oh, twice in a row, guys. Sorry about that. Yep, I'm very vulnerable here. This is probably one of the hardest bosses for us because of the uh, jellyfish and bloody zap us. Okay, they're getting past. It's good. It's good, that's good. Really careful here. All right, he's gonna go down the bottom and he's gonna get zapped. Here we go. You know, we just have to rotate it done. Come on. Okay, he's down to his final, oh, final state. Uh-oh, we might take a hit here. Oh, we just missed out, that's good. Okay, good guys. Ah, uh, yes, come on, this could be it, guys. Oh no, I screwed it up, I screwed it up, I'm sorry. All right, we're gonna wait for one more jellyfish and we just have to dodge this jellyfish. Come on, jellyfish, go and get this guy, zap him! We need something to nuke this guy down. We need to figure out a way to nuke. I wonder if we can make something way more powerful. Maybe like a rocket launcher or something. That'd be really cool. Just this huge, huge rocket launcher. That'd be amazing. Oh, right, come on. Okay, he's down. And that's the end of the boss. That's awesome, guys. This boss is one of the harder ones to take down, actually. Really, really difficult. So much health. And he has the shield. We need to get some elephant chunks happening, actually. Because that's how you take out that boss really, really quickly. Alright, let's get straight over to Washington, D.C. to the boss. We're going to take out the White House. Uh, I love how quickly we destroy these buildings. It's amazing. So amazing. We're almost there. Mech Force 1, we're on our way. Yep, here we are, guys. Here is Mech Force 1, the final boss already. Can you believe that? This is a really quick episode, I think. Here he comes. Come on, come on, come on. Here he is. Typical music. And watch, we're going to melt this guy, I'm pretty sure. See how fast we can take this guy out. Come on, come on. Okay. We're doing it. We're doing it, guys. And, oh, there's one heart gone. He's half dead. Half dead. There we go. Body is dead, guys. Body gone. Yeah, the only thing left is the top bit. Now, okay, I don't think the grenades can hit me. Yeah, the grenades cannot hit me, guys. I'm invulnerable to grenades. We'll try the laser beam as well. See if I'm invulnerable. No, I'm not invulnerable to laser beams. So the only thing I have to dodge is laser beams. In other words, we are going to kill this guy. It's just a matter of how long is it going to take. Which is the annoying part. I think if I keep rotating, then I'll unlock more bees to shoot with. Because the ones at the bottom can't actually shoot. So if I keep rotating, the ones at the bottom and top will stop places. Damn it. We need to be able to do more damage. Once again, the final boss is, yeah, he just, we don't have the damage output to take him out really quickly. It's annoying. Like, we can still take him out. It's just going to take ages and ages. If he comes down a little bit lower, we can probably get him, but I don't think it's going to come down lower. It's a trouble. All right, more than halfway, guys. I think we're definitely winning this one. This is definitely a winner. He just doesn't have the damage output. He basically needs to laser beam into death, but he can't aim it. As soon as he starts laser beaming, I just back out of there, so there's not really much this guy can do to me. There we go. Just wait for him to do his laser beam attack. And okay. And we're back in there attacking this guy. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. All right, he's got less than a quarter left now, guys. Probably less than an eighth, realistically. Come on. We're very close, guys. This is basically it. A couple more seconds and we should be there. And come on. We're almost there. He's about to tick over. And successful mod, guys. This is a very powerful mod. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. If you want to stay up to date with all the Octagon mods and all the other content we're making, make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you guys have ideas for mods, make sure to leave a comment down below. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.